Okay, Aqua Capital. So basically, Elizabeth is still unknown whereabouts. Then for some reason, you thought he could just go to generic Europe slash maybe Venice slash with Gothic architecture, architecture, and he would just find Elizabeth here. Because, you know, who doesn't love generic, vague Europe? Oh, jobbed. This bores me. Yeah, my feelings too. I hate fighting these enemies, <laughs> it's kind of boring. <laughs> You showed them, your friends. Your so friends were fragile, the lot of them. So weak. I cannot stand another minute <laughs> of this tedium. You I really don't like this guy's design. You will bring before me he has golden tribal tattoos by the look of it. Wolf. Greater fiend and ruler of storms, accomplish this, and you shall be made ruler of this land. I just hate his design. I don't really think the designs, the visual designs of a lot of the fiends in this are just kind of there slash slapped together, and I don't really like them. Ha ha ha! We are humans doing human things. Hey, lady. Oh no! Stop the boob lady! <laughs> Which is to say every... Every team ninja woman. <laughs> Arr, I'm scary and annoying. Oh, Pwned. There was no blood. There was no blood on that sword. Uh, yeah, so around this time is normally where fatigue sets in for me if I'm playing the game in one long session, which I guess is fair because, uh, you know, so the, it's like several chapters in, but also I just hate fighting these enemies. They tend to do big, slow wind-up punches. They're much more difficult to stun out of moves and they have a lot of armor on their like hits so it means that the lighter weapons like the tonfas which we will see later and the scythe do a lot of damage but just do nothing to stagger them and it's really difficult and annoying to fight them and as i mentioned before i don't like using big slow weapons so it makes this area very like a slog for me that requires me to do a lot of defensive stuff and I'm lazy and I don't want to do that so <laughs> also there's a lot of swimming sections as you can imagine and it's again why are we still getting adventure games or any character action game where they're like hey man we should do a swimming section it's like fuck off man <laughs> like, have they ever been good? Name one time that has not just caused you an anxiety attack or has just felt terrible and is just slow and annoying. So I'm just kind of wandering here, just trying to see if I can find something. I don't know why I keep looking for boxes that don't have any value in this mode. A box. It has fucking nothing <laughs> pretty much pointlessly nothing okay gave me some key oh, shut up yeah so I, I i think the big thing about Volf is if you're gonna have a fiend that's based on lightning you and then have a different fiend whose whole thing is that he likes storms you might wanna either rename one of them to like wind or tornadoes or hurricane or something like that so it's a little more different sounding or you want to separate them entirely so it's like you're fighting a different like a fire demon next instead 
so that it doesn't become it. Hey, didn't I just fight a storm demon? Why is this werewolf and my champ looking motherfucker with the golden tribals trying to beat me up now? Also, yeah, I, I just fucking hate Volt's design. Like, it's just like every other. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I was gonna say every other greater fiend has a humanoid appearance, but actually, that's not true. The fire one doesn't either. He also looks jank as all hell. To be honest, I don't really like a lot of the designs. I keep saying that, it's just laughably bad. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, hardcore Ninja Gaiden fans are like, shut up, you're the best. Yeah, like, I actually think every time he does the fire one that he's saying Bakura. <laughs> like, you're, an, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Which is just like, wow, strong words are enough to cast fire spells. My Japanese is terrible. Don't at me. Thanks. See what I mean? You're hitting him and he's just like, shut up, here, come up the pain, punch. And you're like, and watch out for the red one. The red one just has, I think, a slightly larger health bar, and his arms won't fall off. So these guys, you can just, yeah, do that, and it's like, oh, they got rid of them. This guy, I will hit him and hit him and hit him and hit him and hit him, and his arms will just stay on. So you have to do it the, the old-fashioned health bar depletion way. It just means keep hitting him until he falls down. Which again... Take that table. Yeah. Sorry if I'm just going to complain through this section. It's a nice, I'll give it its fairness. It's got a really nice design. Think about the New York level. You spend most of your time not in the city of New York. You're literally in a subway for almost the entire time. Or, yeah, sewer or a subway. It's underground. You barely see the cityscape at all. You're like in two sections of the game and it's like a square. And then you just move into a subway again or onto a bridge. And it's just a bit like, oh. This one, however, you're going through detailed environments like this, and it's like complex buildings and shit. You see there's like a whole thing going on and it's pretty technically impressive. So I like the environment, I just absolutely hate the enemies in it. Especially the werewolves and these flappy dudes, which are just like the pink boys with big wings. And more annoying. <laughs> See, there's a blue thing over there. Safe thing. I will try the sights again. The Vigorian flail. Boom. Okay, finally something good. See, that's why I keep hitting up those boxes, because I'm like, well, I gotta hit up those boxes. <laughs> get those healing items for when I inevitably fuck up a boss. Oh, these guys, yeah. Sneaky boys. Yeah. Okay, didn't kill him. You think it was a moral victory if you get Azuna dropped, that's it, you just give up. Yeah, I don't mind fighting these guys. They eventually become a bit tired because they used a lot throughout the game. But, like, Honestly, they're not too much of a challenge that you sit there and think, oh crap, it's these guys again, oh no, now the game's going to turn into a boring slog for an hour. You just think, oh, it's, it's okay. I can handle it. <coughs> yeah, it's not that big of a deal with those guys. So I don't have as much hatred towards them as the werewolves. The werewolves just piss me off because it's just like, oh, doesn't matter what I do, you're just going to do your big dumb punch or your big dumb throw where you pick me up and punch me and it's like... Ugh. I'm trying to do cool shit here and you're ruining it. What's down here? Nothing. Maybe there's a box and I'm not seeing it but like... so slow. There we go. It's taken me 
years and several playthroughs to realize if you press circle whilst you're underwater, you will forward stroke. I've been doing it the slow way my entire life. That's kind of why I oh, now got stuck. It's still really slow, but like, man, there are so many things relating to the underwater sections they've removed from the Sigma version, and uh, they weren't wrong. Like, there used to be a whole underwater dart gun you could use that uh, basically existed just to deal with the underwater combat, and then this game essentially just went, hey man, we're just gonna get rid of that. <laughs> like, just pretty much every underwater interaction fight in the game is removed, and the few that remain, you're not supposed to go underwater to fight, you're just supposed to, I think you're just supposed to stand above water and hit them with your arrows, because you can totally do that if you don't want to engage with it. Oh, the camera's killing me again. Oh, I can't see anything, I'm just pressing buttons. Uh, no, why won't you, oh, they'll just shoot you, ah! Oh. Oh! Oh no! No! Oh, stop doing your fireball! You're dead. Oh, thanks. Thanks, dick. We all have projectiles. You asshole. Oh no, I can't hit him. Oh no, this weapon, I can't hit him! And he's just standing there, oh my god, he's just standing there, he knows. He's like, no, work it out, loser. Work it out. I'm not even gonna hit you, work it out. And I'm like, no, let me hit you. He's like, no, fuck you. Oh my god. Just come down. Just, oh. Just come down. <laughs> Stop hovering directly above my head. Good. I'll just shoot you with arrows. That was obviously the best way to deal with that. A room? A book. Hinomaru. I fight a woman. What is man? What is pride? I don't know who Hinomaru is. I need to play the other games. I haven't yet, so if that was an easter egg, because there's nothing else in this room, I'm guessing it's an easter egg where they're like, look, it's Hinomaru. And I'm like, who the fuck's Hinomaru? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't buy into the rich law. I'll come back and work out who that is later. So we're gonna try the Tonfas, which will not go well, but you know, hindsight is 2020. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, you just do your big slow punches. Oh no, there's another weapon to fight them with, unless you're going to keep moving around. Hey, it worked. I'm pretty sure there were a lot more of those in the vanilla version too. They call it a Sigma edition, like I remember everyone getting really pissed off with Ninja Gaiden 3 and going, oh, it's just too bad, and like, oh, it needs so much work, and then they release Breeze's Edge, and they're like, oh, it's slightly better, but, oh, that's good, it's fixed a lot of the problems. Like, that's not literally what they do. But that's not what they literally did with 2 and Sigma. <laughs> like, there were so many problems with Ninja Gaiden 2 Vanilla, like, it was just genuinely way too, too difficult. Certain enemies took an unfair amount of damage before they died, and it was just in some cases really fucking unbalanced, and would be like, hey, mandatory swimming sections and backtracking, fuck you. You know they've removed an entire boss from this version of the game because people were just like, no, fuck that boss. But I don't even think he was that bad, I barely remember fighting him. I think the big problem with uh, the vanilla version of Ninja, Ninja Gaiden was making it so that basically your final boss encounter was just you have to shoot them with the bow. Oh no. 
Oh. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, it's so hard to control. Why is it? There we go. It's not camera based, his directional movement here, it's based on like, you know, so you're pressing away from your camera view, it doesn't necessarily mean he'll go in that direction on the pole, so can I can I jump back on? There's no crate here. Guess not, I'll just swim. Where do I go? Do I do I go here? Do I go here? I just run around in a circle. Do I go here? Do I clip through the wall? Is that what I'm supposed to do? If I clip through the wall, do I beat the game? Oh, this is still slow. Uh, <clears throat> good job on removing a lot of the mandatory swimming combat sections, because yes, they fucking sucked. But they did a lot of good stuff on improving, like, let's give it fair credit here. They did some really good stuff that I'm like, thank Christ they got rid of that, because that was really not fun. <laughs> like, uh, it's just like, I'm supposed to be playing on easy mode and they're just killing me really easily and I have to pay to replace my incendiary shirk and why? Yeah. <laughs> If it doesn't come across in the video, hand the handling on these sections still is fucking terrible. Because it's, you know, if he changes the way he's looking in the process of climbing a circular pipe, if he changes his positioning because he's climbing around a circular pipe like that, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, uh, like, change with the camera so that you can hold it in the same position or keep your input and remember it. It's like this kind of awful halfway in between. I can't really explain it without experiencing it a few more times, but basically, you know in Devil May Cry and some other games where you press forward then the camera changes and then sometimes Dante will start running in the wrong direction because but you're holding up now and he's now going up instead of the direction he was going before which was forwards but is now left because of the camera change or something like that I don't know if that even happens in Devil May Cry but yeah uh, in this game every time the camera changes he will instantly change direction and the camera changes all the fucking time it doesn't in combat though but in combat, you're just hitting face buttons and like occasionally dodging left or right, so you don't really notice if you press right when he's facing you if he goes in a weird angle. Oh, I like that move. That's a cool move. So the scythe is cool if you have it leveled up to big, big levels. Otherwise, it's just kind of slow. Has a fairly small set move set at the beginning. It's pretty good at high level, but like, I just didn't care for it at all. My first few times playing the game, I killed the sneaky boy. Kind of reminds me of a Monster Hunter weapon this side as well. It looks like a kind of like bone great sword or something when it's folded on his back. It's pretty, pretty nuts. I will forever be confused by giant weapon being a stereotype in a lot of Japanese action games. Like, hey, the weapon is really big and blunt that means it's good. No, like, no. Does that make it terrible? And like very difficult to use? Or impossible to use? Uh. Why are you in here, sir? Your your wings denote that you should be outside. 
Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to go. Uh, this is where you pick up the gun. If you are playing story mode, this is where the gun is. Uh, yeah. I can't remember in the vanilla version of the game having the gun. Uh, so it wasn't until Sigma that I actually picked up the gun and was like, ooh, gun? Because this game, you can just walk by weapons if you're not paying attention and interacting with the environment and you're just like, oh, fuck it, I need to get through this game really fast. You can turn around after like getting to chapter like 8 or 9 ago. Huh, it's been a long time since they forced me to get a new weapon. Because you can just speed past some. Which is kind of... I don't know if I hate it or like it. You know, like, oh, I can just accidentally walk past the tonfers. Or something like that, you know. Some of them, they lock you into getting them, but, like, some of them is just, like... You can just walk by them. And then your friend could be like, yeah, did you get the, like... The hook blade? And you're like, what? There's a hook blade. <laughs> you didn't get the gun? There's no gun. Oh, these fishy boys. Oh. This is not the weapon to fight them with. Oh, fuck. I had the sub menu up and I was mashing to try and get them off. Because sometimes when you're in a kind of like mash to escape situation and you have the menu up, it doesn't pause. So you're taking damage. And it makes you panic. It's like you've got to have a choice here. You can either have it always pauses or it doesn't pause for a sub menu. You can't. Oh well, now you're doing this thing and you're halfway through something, so uh, it doesn't pause. Fuck you. It's just like gotta hit this fish. They're just they're just annoying. They're just super annoying, they just lock you down, they stop you from doing shit, it's just frustrating as all hell. And they're a big component of this next area, and I fucking hate it. Oh, a box. No animation for underwater box, that's kind of... Well, I guess what would he do? God, swimming sections, why? Why even? Why even? This is so immersive, I'm glad they put this in the game. Me swimming through a tunnel. The only thing better would be if they gave me an O2 bar and told me, oh well fuck you, you're drowning now. Even though this is the fastest you can go. <laughs> Take damage, health tax, fuck you. <laughs> like, kill the fish. Kill the fish. Kill the stinky fish. There's more fish, there's always more fish. They're just literally materializing out of nowhere. God, I hate fighting these guys. There's always more fish. I killed all your stupid fish. Now I've summoned the big asshole fish. That's actually a dragon. So, I actually hate this boss the most, I think. Like, I'm trying to memorize all of the sub-bosses in this game. And all of the bosses in this game. And as I mentioned before, the greater fiends are just kind of pretty easy, like, because they're about your size, so you can duck, duck around them and you can fight them, and it's like, you know, human versus human. 
these big slow fights where it's very unclear when he's too close, when he's close enough for you to hit him, and he does all of these stupid spammy moves again and again and again, like this shit. It's just, I don't think they really are a value add to the game, like, okay, you get, you're making me do something different, but like, it's not a fun fight, it's a bit annoying, he's summoning his own fishy frat boyfriends now. Okay, to fight his fishy friends. And it's just like, it's pretty unpleasant, <laughs> like, you just sat there like, oh, like, how does he even fit into the cannon? How is he important? He's just a random fish guy that's in the way. He doesn't, like, there's nothing to say at all. And he just makes the same noise again and again, he just goes, rear, rear. That noise. He will just make that scream every single time. It's always the same scream. They recorded one scream. Use one sound effect. But like, I don't normally complain because it's like, oh yeah, you fight something for the spectacle maybe, like, you know, oh I fought the Statue of Liberty and it was all electric and ah. Oh, there's a giant Buddha statue, oh my god, oh, like, even the big dumb, like, faceless grey troll monster we fought on the New York Bridge, you're kind of like, okay, I guess, but it's really generic, it could be from literally any video game. So I'm just like, oh, okay, like, we'll just pretend that doesn't exist because it's so unremarkable. This is just, like, fucking why it's not weird enough. It's just frustrating. Everything is blue, which means I can't see the fish until they hit me. I can't tell because of my depth perception when he's close enough for me to hit him, which makes the fight go toxic. And then he spams the stupid needle move. So many times that you're sat there like, for fuck's sake, yeah we get it, you can spam the needle move. And we get it. You can use pin missile, good work. I literally can't see the fish until they hit me, because everything is the same shades of blue. So yeah, I just don't like this boss fight, and I'm sat there like, if you're gonna go into Sigma and they say, Oh, we got rid of the worm boss fight, because nobody liked the worm boss fight. Anything you think, but we yeah, keep this one, because everyone's like, Oh no, not the Loch Ness Monster Dragon boss fight. That was my favorite boss fight where I'm stuck on a tiny piece of debris and I have to like fight him and he never gets close enough for me to do more than two hits of damage at any time and he sends his stupid asshole fish friends after me. I'm so glad you kept this fight. I rank almost any other boss fight in this game over this one except for the, uh, I guess, the unremarkable dude. Boss. I don't even know what it is. Like, at least the New York equivalent, the weird motorhead fish man thing, uh, was a bit like, okay, that's just fucking weird. That's funny and weird. This is just like, oh, it's ugly, and it just goes, meow, meow, meow. It's weird because. I would say this area, this level and chapter has like some of the nicest environments. Well, this is just literally like underground water level again, so basically a sewer level. <laughs> uh, cave level, underground cave level. Underwater underground cave level. Like. 
everything else is just more interesting. You know? It's not weird enough. It's not weird enough. It's not fun enough. <laughs> it's just fucking weird. They don't even give him a name. They just are like, here's a thing. <laughs> like, you know, they... But that's for like all of the sub bosses in this game where I'm like, okay. It's just like way to make this just long and boring. <laughs> Now we have to do it all again. <laughs> and it's just listening to the same tense dun 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 music while he goes rear 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 and you're just like, yes, we get it. There are literally two moves in your entire moveset that let me hit you. Otherwise I have to spam arrows. <laughs> And just dance around this tiny two square kind of piece of debris and hope for the best. Oh, sending in your frat again. Fish frat for life. Oh, I got power geysered. Balls. Fish frat never die. For life. Fucking fish bastard. I'll just flail my sword around until the invisible blue fish disappear into little smoke. Really having trouble seeing it as well, which, yeah. It's starting to really make me think I need to go to the optician again because I'm like, I can't tell when it's close enough for me to hit. I can't see the fish very well, so I'm just like, wow, I'm fucked. I need to 
losses. I've done hardly any damage and I'm nearly dead again. There's gotta be a faster way I'm not seeing. This can't be the intended route. Weirdly, if you let the fish keep attacking you and don't mash out, the area of effect attacks, attacks and does don't hit you whilst you're in them for some reason. Well, oh, that's what I look like there. Yay! With so many hits. How oh, great needle time. Stayed right and I avoided it. I also don't like this uh, boss's visual design, so that might be why I'm prejudiced. I don't like his teeth. His teeth just look really fucking weird to me up close, and I don't like that it has like six eyes and it's supposed to be scary. And I don't like his weird kind of tendrils, they just look so fucking creepy. I'm like, ugh. Fish bros. Wah. Okay, blocking doesn't stop those. Standing in the right place does. <laughs> At this point, I'm just doing anything I can to just make, you know... Thing die, so I'm just throwing a few cheeky arrows every now and then, just like, oh, it's, it's apparently affecting his health bar invisibly, so <laughs> near invisibly. So if that gets the problem solved, you know what I mean? Holy shit. <laughs> like, anything to make the pain stop. How I beat this boss. On the original first day out there. Maybe he wasn't there, but I feel like I have a memory of him being in the vanilla game, but that might just be some weird Mandela effect where I'm playing the remake or the remaster and they have made edits and I'm not sure exactly of all of the edits and some of it I'm like, maybe this is from the remaster. <laughs> Or maybe I just forgot. <laughs> so it feels like gaslighting when you do that to yourself. It really does. You're just sat there like, uh... Fish. I remember these fish were assholes. Yeah, like I remember some parts of the game and going, Oh yeah, that was in the original game. And another part's like, I don't remember that at all. <clears throat> like the Buddha boss. I'm fighting the Statue of Liberty, I can't remember that at all. But, uh... You know... I do remember Motorheadfish. What's the point in that? What's the point in that fake move, that fake out? Am I supposed to do something through that? Is that an open... is that a free parking? What, what am I supposed to do with that? You just kind of flop forwards, like a big floppy schlong. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want? Why can't you just be normal? Why can't you have a big glowing weak point that's not fucking blue? Just stop, please. You're not threatening, sir. You're just annoying. No, stop it, please. Just be honorable and die. Oh. Why did they do this to me? Why? Why are you taking such little damage? Am I supposed to climb on your back? Just 
so close. Close. What does that mean? Why have you got a move in your moveset where you just do nothing? Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, he's almost, almost dead. And I'm just gonna shoot you with my bow, fuck off. And there goes the worst boss somehow retained in the Sigma version. I'll probably complain about the next box too, because I've probably forgotten it, but like... Oh, I just didn't like that boss. Oh, it's over now though. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> every time, same thing. <laughs>